man. Yeah. I want to get some like some of your opinion too. Do you want to share anything with the world? Like any thoughts on the rodeo? Like I want to hear all sides yeah. of the story. You can share your your. Okay. Your it's actually I'm really glad that you do. Yeah. Uh, I like we really don't harm the animals at all. Okay. Any heart like. It would just be stupid to harm the animals, in my opinion. Like they're not gonna, like they're not gonna buck. The horses won't listen to you. I've got a horse. I know that, like, if you're not patient and kind to the horse, she ain't gonna listen. So, like, you gotta treat that horse really good. What do you and all the animals are like that. Six horses that have died this year already are the Calgary Stampede, and then also the 18-year-old male who died in BC this week. I uh, I heard about the guy who died. Yeah. Uh, but I don't actually, I'm pretty disconnected from all that, don't have TV or anything. So, uh, what happened when he died, you guys know? Uh, a, a, a horse stepped on him, like he was... Horse stepped Yeah. Stuff well, happens, like, like, he signed up for this it. Is, this is like considered entertainment though, like, and people like, are actually paying to watch that. Like, that's, it's not like it exists outside of a moral atmosphere. Like, to have someone actually watch someone die, like, does that not seem troubling to you? Whether or not that's his own... I wouldn't want to watch people die, of course not. Yeah. Like, but, like, from, like, I ride bulls. Like, yeah, it's dangerous, and I know that I can get hurt. And, like, that's if great. I get hurt doing it, I deserve it. That's great it. that like, you're a willing participant, yeah. but the animals aren't willing participants. <laughs> they actually, they, I believe that they are. I've seen, you know what, why don't you go watch the rodeo? There's no possible way. There's no possible way that would be in an animal's best interest. We, to have someone frighten it so that it can buck them off. Hey, you don't, like, you don't, come on. Dylan, you want to prod me with uh, <laughs> some electricity? It actually feels good after a while. It actually does not hurt them. That's so, that, have you done it to yourself? <laughs> you know what it feels like to them? Okay. They weigh like 2,000 pounds. Have they told you? That's, that's a heck of a lot more than I do. It feels a bit like this. That's what it feels like. How do you know it's about breaking your back? Have you been a bull before? In the past life, no. No, but it's just logic. Their skin is eight it's, times it's thicker than ours. It's easy to believe ours. that that's what it feels like because that's what you're doing and that's the norm. But if you if you actually thought about it, it's electricity getting shot into your rear end. Like It's okay. not going to ever feel good, ever, to any species. It's not, it's not going to hurt you if it's just a tiny bit. And it is just a tiny bit. why do you do bit. it? Hmm? Why do you use it? Just like it's like startling them. It's like tickling them. So if it startles them, then clearly they're affected by it in some way. Why don't you just tickle them instead? Then? Yeah. 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 If it, Why don't you use it is, a feather? It is. It is the exact equivalent. Maybe equipment. you can use a feather. It's, okay. Take a feather. Now take. So you're gonna tickle me with a feather. That's okay. Right. Now make me eight times as big. You're gonna need a feather that's eight times as effective. Okay. So that's what the cattle prod is. It's just eight times a feather. Is there any studies done on this? The study's right in there, you can head in and watch. Yeah. Hi, do, you, do you do calf roping? No. No? No. What do you feel about calf roping? I don't think it harms them. It's an animal running totally full speed sure, and having right? a rope wrapped around the neck. like An animal with very thick skin. Okay, but you said you don't <laughs> think it hurts them, right? Yeah. But can you be 100% sure that it doesn't yeah. hurt them? No. Can you be 100% sure that it does? I am, no, I have, but because can't you can't be 100% sure, sure of anything. Right. So because you can't be 100% sure that it doesn't hurt them, then don't you think you should err on the side of caution and so not I'm just do gonna, this? No, I'm going to err on the side of caution and sit here and not do anything. Because I'm not 100% sure of anything. I'm not 100% sure. No, but that's, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. But hey, you don't affect, don't affect fine, the life of an problem, animal. That's not a willing participant, right? Like, that's you fine. Are doing that thing. You are going to the rodeo and you're using animals. Yeah. We're just playing. It's just fun. Can you just it's make a video game or something? It's fun. Like, can you guys just all crowd me. around a TV and play Xbox you're rodeo? We can, so, we can have fun however you want. Have fun. Yeah, but it's at the expense of another living living thing. Like imagine, imagine that one, you know, like think about how how you came to this earth. Imagine that one billionth of a chance that you were a you were a bull and you weren't a human. And you were at the other end of this getting rode on for the expense of like for the sake of some guys like just cheering it on. Like it's like I sure you're off the road, please. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm from Dunville, Ontario. Like, every, you, do, you do shit for fun. I, I know what you're saying, but, but when it's at the expense of someone else, you know what I mean? Like, whether they're animal, whether they're a cop, or whatever. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And that's all we're trying to say here, I think. It's, it's just like, 
It's like, it, I, I guarantee you, 99.9% .9 of the people in there don't think, don't think about it at all. You know what, what I mean? What did he say? It's not in their interest. The guy that was about to pull out here didn't have so, to Like, we're just, might not, but you know what, like, I looked at it logically. I personally do not, like, I don't swat a mosquito when it lands on me, because I don't want to hurt it. You yeah, swat mosquitoes when they land on you? Yeah. Like, if the bull doesn't want to buck, he won't buck. Some, they do stand there. A bull, sometimes, it'll yeah. just not come out of the chute. But then and it's not fun for everyone, right? The whole entertainment is based upon having the bull buck and have it buck forcefully oh, no. and have the rider thrown off. Because if, if, if that didn't exist, the rodeo wouldn't exist. So if that bull it is inherently cruel. You have to hurt these animals in order for no. the fun for everyone thinks is tradition no, to happen. Just, what we do is we choose the animals to buck that want to buck. Because a they bull want bull, to buck. Yes, they want to buck. Oh my God! We can, but they, we but they, they don't, they don't, they aren't part of the game. Like they don't think of, hey, yeah, rodeo's going on. Yeah. yeah, all the bulls are all crowded in the in the barn. They're all pumped up for the rodeo. No, they're bucking because you want. They, like they don't want you they're on their back because you're, you're not. Mm -hmm. They're exactly. Terrified. Yeah. You think a bull is terrified of me? The things like yes, that. man. <laughs> imagine, imagine you were a, you were of a different species, locked in an arena with a bunch of other species and the higher up on the chain than you are, laughing at you, being like, yeah, yeah like rock. Oh man, like you cannot tell me that they want to buck and that they want people to. They don't want to be locked in a fucking four by six cage, poked at, prodded at, tails twisted and shit till the right pissed off. Like, it's like it's like if someone started coming up to you and just started kicking you in the ass, knocked you over, jumped on your back, and then we're like, you want to buck, right? You want? No, it's it's like we can't. We don't have the power to. Nothing. We do not use anything that will harm the animal or make it want to buck. Okay, why did the six? Okay, six horses just died in the Calgary Stampede this year. Six horses okay. in the span of like four days. To be honest with four you, four days. I, to be honest with you, I've been this past week. I've been out of touch with TV and everything. Don't even have them at my house. It's not a, like it's not like an arguable fact. Yeah, I know. That's no. an I mean, actual it's, it's six like horses shit. like that. That's okay. This week. I'm not gonna say anything about the dead horses because I know nothing about it. I know for three years I've been coming to rodeos, been around people who deal with animals, haven't seen one thing go wrong. Like. There's but then, but then, it's what you it's what you value as wrong, though. Like, what do you yeah. value as wrong? Subjecting another living being for a couple of guys or a bunch of people to have a good time. Like, is that wrong to you, or is it like what do you what do you just like what do you say is wrong? Like, you can debate that to no end, right? Like, I think this is just a matter. Of, it's like a matter of perspective. Like, some people don't mind getting pinched. Other people's mind get. Other people's no one mind likes. No one likes getting hurt. No one. It's a. It depends on who's pinching you. 